good morning oh wow okay so i was inspired to make a video today about what i eat in a day i haven't done a video like this in a while so i thought i would change it up um i don't drink coffee in the mornings um i stopped doing that because i was a fiend let me tell you i had at least two espressos two times a day so it's four espressos per day in black coffee so that it was a lot of caffeine is what i'm trying to tell you it was terrible so i had to cut that out because i was shaking i was like i had so much anxiety but i thought that i was just focused but that that that's two different things so i stopped drinking coffee i drink green tea sometimes but i don't really like the taste of it i think it's kind of nasty so <laughs> I only drink that like if I absolutely need like a pick-me-up um, so yeah no coffee in the morning I wake up and I probably drank a bottle of water and then off to breakfast which is usually a smoothie which you will see next okay good morning guys um, we're gonna start with breakfast so I like to have a smoothie um, a lot of people have Vitamixes I don't have $600 for a blender so I have the ninja and it's perfectly reasonable it's I think it's $185 and it's powerful enough um, so for my smoothie I like to do three bananas um, and they need to, I brought this peel out to show how ripe bananas really should be you really shouldn't be eating um, bananas that are like perfectly yellow because the starches haven't been converted to sugars yet so anyway so I have three bananas this is about I don't know like two cups maybe of spinach and then I just use this coconut water I don't know if it's the healthiest but that's all I could find at the supermarket so I do about I want to say two cups yep there we go uh, coconut water and then three bananas Spinach, stuff that in there. Do do do. Little spragglers. All right. All right. Then I get a mason jar and I pop that in there. I have a little bit left over. I'm sorry, I'm terrible at holding the camera. Um, I have still have a little bit left over in there, but I'll figure that out. Um, so I'll see you guys for lunch. Okay, so it is lunchtime. It's about 1.30 and I'm absolutely starving. Um, I love oatmeal so, 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 so much. So I use, I think this is from Whole Foods and the steel cut oats are my favorite. Um, so I usually just use two cups of almond milk. I like the unsweetened one. I like to boil the almond milk first. Put it on boiling speeds. Wait, hold on. Oh, wrong. There we go. Yeah. So I have to let that boil first, and then I'm going to put the almond milk, I mean, sorry, the oats in there, cover it up, turn the heat down to about three, and let that simmer for about seven minutes. And then we'll come over here to my toppings. I use pumpkin seeds, pecans, and blackberries. And that's it. That's my lunch. So I will come back when it's all put together. As you can see, I completely forgot to um, show the end result of my lunch, which was the oatmeal. But you guys know how to make oatmeal, so I don't really have to like show you how but i was just so hungry like starving that i completely forgot to like make a video of the actual oatmeal like the end product but i put blackberries and pumpkin seeds and pecans on top 
and just a little bit of brown sugar. And that's my, that's my lunch really. So on to the next meal. I don't know why I keep doing the gun fingers. They're not cool and I'm gonna stop. Okay guys, I just wanna make a disclaimer before we start dinner and explain to you that I am a terrible, terrible cook. And this is why I am fat because I order out instead, because I hate the taste of my own cooking, it is disgusting. So, on this weight loss journey, I need to learn how to put stuff together in an edible fashion. So, um, if this is a disaster, it's a disaster. If it's good, it's good. Only, only time will tell. So please stay tuned for dinner. Okay, lovely people, so today we're getting really fancy. Um, don't ignore my dirty dishes, don't judge me. Um, today we're gonna do curried, like a raw curried butternut squash. So right now I'm working on the curry sauce itself, but it's completely raw. Um, it calls for, well, so it's actually fully raw Christina's um, recipe, it's not mine. Um, and she has specific measurements on her um, on her website, but I don't want to make as much as her, so I try to tailor the measurements to the amount that I actually want. So don't follow these measurements, is what I'm trying to say. Follow Fully Raw Christina. She has her own app now, which is really awesome, and she also has her own book, which I think I showed in one of my previous videos. Um, okay, so it calls for, I'm just gonna tell you the ingredients. Uh, sesame seeds, which I got at Whole Foods. Um, Rosemary, Whole Foods, basil, smells delicious, Whole Foods, um, it said a two cups or three cups actually of cherry tomatoes, which I don't have three cups, so we're only doing one. <laughs> um, oranges, navel oranges, so these are two of them actually that I chopped in a really shitty way. And then it said a tablespoon worth of these three um, spices. So curry, turmeric, and cumin. So I'm gonna blend this, put these all together, and um, we'll see how it comes out. If it's disgusting, I, I'm probably gonna, it's my fault, it's not fully Rock Christina's fault, she's amazing, it's totally my fault. I'm probably gonna add green onion as well, but we'll see depending on the taste. Oh, and ginger. You need to put, a, put some ginger in there as well. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. I fucked up, didn't I? Yeah, it's okay, you can tell me. So guys, I remember a little bit earlier when I was talking shit about Vitamixes and how they're too expensive. Yeah, they're expensive for a reason. This <laughs> is a chunky, sad mess. When Christina did it, or fully raw Christina, it was smooth and it looked delicious and this is chunky and sad. So what I'm gonna do is try and doctor it up because I ain't gonna waste no food. I come over here, right? And I got my noodles in a pan and I'm just gonna cook those up a little bit and then I'm gonna add the sauce to it and see if maybe if I cook it up, it'll kind of fix things. So, um, I'll be back and I'll tell you exactly what happened. Okay guys, as you can see, I had to abort mission. Um, it was a catastrophe, to be honest with you. I'll get into that later. But as our backup meal, we're doing some Whole Foods um, vegan lasagna. It's in the freezer section, super easy to find. Um, that's what it is. And then I just cooked up some mushrooms and spinach with coconut oil. And then because I can't live without hot sauce, all my Jamaicans out there, you know what this is, Grace hot pepper sauce. So um, see you in the next clip. Okay guys, so that was a little bit disheartening, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but it's okay, I'm glad that I failed on camera. I'm glad that it was witnessed because you see now that this is my problem. I don't know how to cook and I have to learn how to cook in order to lose weight. And um, hopefully you guys see what I'm talking about and get some tips from what I did. Um, yeah, don't talk shit about Vitamixes because they are there for a reason. My blender couldn't break up the orange peels enough so it made the whole thing chunky and completely unedible. It was terrible. Um, and I hate wasting food and I feel so bad about that and I had to like eat a 
frozen meal instead. It was it was quite sad. <laughs> but um, I'm really glad that that happened on camera so you can see exactly what my life is like. Um, but don't give up, you know what I mean? Always have a backup plan if you, I just slipped. Always have a backup plan if you don't know what you're gonna eat, it, like if you, if what you're gonna make, you know, doesn't work out or whatever. Um, don't give up and don't cheat and don't order takeout because that is the death of you. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.